Hi there, this is Khader and today we are going to make a Jaulti for hyper LEDs. Usually people uh, use the same Jaulti for low power LEDs and hyper LEDs but as the name suggests hyper LEDs need a high amount of current. So for this you need a Jaulti which can supply a high current to the LEDs. Something like this. As you can see using just a single battery you can drive these hyper LEDs. So for, to make this you need a toroid like this, it's a ferrite core so you can get this from an old dead CFL an amyled wire, copper wire, preferably 22 gauge or as thick as possible because uh, to supply more current the wire should be thicker so we'll take a 22 gauge wire you need a 2 and double to double to transistor because uh, you can use BC547 but BC547 transistor cannot supply enough current for the trans uh, for the LED to drive so we'll use a 2 and double to double to which can supply about 800 milliamps but in our case, we we'll supply only 200 to 300 million. And a resistor, uh, the resistor value is 100 ohms. So let's see how we can make it. So usually in a Jaulti, for low power LEDs, this resistor is about 1K. And the wire for winding these coils is about 26 gauge wire. But for our hyper LED, what we are doing is, we are replacing this 1K resistor with a 100 ohm resistor and also the 26 gauge wire with a 22 gauge wire which is a thicker wire and even the transistor is 2 and double to double to so that it can supply high current to the LED so let's make the circuit and test it so for this first we have to make the coil we'll take two pieces of this copper wire one foot pieces and we have to keep them parallelly and wind over this toroid so it will take time so I have already wound some wound one coil so this is the coil I have wound if you can see the turns are parallel to each other and none of the turns overlap each other so it should it should be perfectly wound and this is the first end and these are the second ends so now we'll check for continuity so this and this wire are connected so this and this wire are connected so now what I'll do is I'll take the other wire and join to this first wire like this. So now I will bend the two other two ends and attach 100 ohm resistor to that. This 100 ohm resistor can be attached to any of the ends so I will attach to this first end now. Now I will take the and double to double to transistor you can keep the flat side towards yourself the right hand side terminal is the collector the center one is the base and the leftmost one is the emitter so i'll connect the other end of this coil this open end of this coil to the collector of the transistor and we'll connect this other end of this resistor to the base now what i'll do is i'll take the led so as you can see I have removed the heat sink of the LED because I don't need it and I have soldered two wires to this two terminals of the LED and I'll connect the positive end of this high power LED to the collector side and the negative terminal of the LED is connected to the emitter of the transistor now I'll connect another wire to the emitter of the transistor so now let's test it we will connect the negative terminal of the battery to this wire piece and the positive terminal to the two joining ends of the coil this one as you can see the LED is working not just the pencil cells or AA batteries we can also use these rechargeable batteries to light up the light to make the light work So as you can see this is the alum battery which we made in the last video. So that's how you can make your own Jauti. So as you can see this recharge homemade rechargeable battery is powering two Jautis, hyper LED Jautis. And it's a very simple design in which 
just by varying few uh, resistor values and the wire gauge we can vary the brightness of the LED. So we have kept a 100 ohm resistor. You can also keep a 1 kilo ohm variable port so that you can vary the brightness of the LED. So please tell me how you feel about my videos and if you like my videos please subscribe. Thank you.